Hey, welcome back to more Cake Yes from Badass Edible Art. I'm your girl Jelena, and I'm going to show you guys how I put together this beautiful treat floral tower. It's perfect for your Valentine orders, and it's definitely perfect for the upcoming wedding season. Let's get started. Now, I'm going to use some cake boards. I have two of them already attached. I'm going to attach a third one just to give it a little bit of thickness. And the way I'm attaching it, you can do with hot glue, you can do with tape. I'm just going to use chocolate. And add it to the cake board. And now I'm going to let that sit and dry. I'm going to roll out some fondant and then cover my cake board with the white fondant also. I'm going to lay it on top. Now I'm going to adhere my cone to my cake board. Again, using chocolate. Okay, I'm let that rest and now I'm gonna prep all my cute stuff that I gotta put on it. We put all of this together ahead of time. If you wanted to see how I made my donuts um, and decorated them, it was very simple. I, If you saw the Fake It With Me, what was it, two weeks ago, I did a Fake It With Me where I purchased pre-made donuts Look how cute that is. Pre-made donuts and then I like drizzled them with chocolate or dipped in them chocolate and just decorated them with some sprinkles that I had on hand. So that's all I did for that. The cake pops, same thing. I dipped them and just decorated them and they're all sitting on regular cake pop sticks. We're just gonna take them off and then go ahead and put them on toothpicks in order to put them in our cone because it's toothpicks that adhere and will stay together, right? And then you wanna put a little bit of chocolate on the end of everything just so it can stay all in and nothing's falling apart. I wanna say a quick shout out to all my Patreons. I really appreciate all of you who have come and supported me through the years. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to make these tutorials here on YouTube. If you are a Patreon of mine or if you wanna become a Patreon of mine, just know you receive exclusive first looks at the tutorials I'll be providing. Also, you get pricing list, tool list, better to help you out if you're running your own home business so you know what it costs to make this and then you know what it takes to make it. If you're interested in that, hit the description down below. You'll get all that information over on my Patreon page. I have these beautiful flowers that I picked up at my local market and I just did a plethora of different colors. I went with this antique off-white pink and then I also did uh, a fuchsia vibrant pink and then a much more powdered softer pink just to kind of stick within the realm of colors that I'm doing for my treats. The way you want to prep your flowers are right, you want to take your flower, you want to cut it as close to the actual petals Cut the stem as close to the actual petals. And then stick a toothpick straight through it. Okay. I'm gonna do that for all of my flowers now. Now some of your petals, you may have purchased them at the store and they looked really pretty. And then you got home and maybe they sat for a little longer and then you start noticing the ends started to get a little damaged. That's fine, just pull them off before you actually put them on your tower so that way you only have the perfect prettiest petals on your tower. Okay, now we're gonna start adding our goodies all on top of our tower. Now, this is the thing. You can choose whichever order in which you want to place anything. It can be eclectic, all over the place, or really organized, whatever you want. I'm going to start with flowers on the bottom, and then we'll just go from there. I don't have a pre-notion of what I want to do. I just know I just want to start with the flowers on the bottom first. Also, what I have on hand are some tweezers, just to help me push my Q-tip in. 
It's a toothpick. Help me push my toothpick in. Perfect. So I actually really love how this is looking and I'm just gonna continue on adding all of my treats and sticking my toothpicks in the treats. So let's just keep adding. Now I have one of my donuts. I took it off the cake pop. I'm gonna stick my toothpick in the chocolate, stick this in just to help it adhere. And then using some of my melted chocolate, I'm gonna put some on the back area. And I'm gonna start from the back because I don't know if I'm gonna like how this looks. Okay, now let's keep going. Sorry guys, really quickly, this is horrible audio, but halfway through me creating this, I decided to switch my flowers. So I actually moved the vintage white flowers from the bottom to the middle and the powdered puff pink flowers from the middle to the bottom. Now, I'm completely done, well, I'm not completely done. Now I'm done, but what I wanna do is make sure that I fill in all of the gaps here because I don't want all these like empty space. So I'm gonna use some baby breaths to kind of fill all that in or any extra treats that I have to kind of fill all that in also. All right, so now that I have all of my cute items on it, my flowers, my cake pops, my donuts, all of that cuteness, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in with some baby's breath. These are a great way to add some additional lightness to your creation and also to fill in anywhere where you see like bigger gaps that you weren't able to hide with the flowers that you were using already.
It's so perfect. It's perfect for Valentine's that's coming up. It's definitely perfect for any wedding suite table. And can't you see this on your little girl's first birthday table? I am excited. Isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you should be. Hit the subscription button, make sure you're hitting the bell at the bottom so that way you're notified every time I upload. It's perfect for your Valentine's tutorials. Nope. For baby girls, one first. Blah, 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 blah. That isn't provided here in the YouTube tutorial. No, I shouldn't say it like that. I should tell you what exactly it's provided. Hey, welcome back to more cake. Yes, my own badass. Okay. Hey, welcome back to. La, la, la. Just make it. 